Hi Sagittarius, this is your weekly day by day tarot cards reading by Emma for the week beginning 5th of September 2022. So starting immediately with the Monday for you said the 5th of September and you have the Magician. Tuesday, Eight of Pentacles. Wednesday, King of Cups. Queen of Swords, Thursday. Queen of Cups, Friday. Eight of Cups, Saturday. And King of Wands, Sunday. Lots of people out there for you. Page of Cups, your influencing energy. The Magician, Monday with Temperance. Eight of Pentacles with Strength, Tuesday. King of Cups, Wednesday with Two of Swords. Queen of Swords, Thursday with King of Pentacles. Queen of Cups with Seven of Cups, Friday. Eight of Cups, Saturday with Eight of Pentacles. King of Wands, Sunday with Two of Cups. Page of Cups, Three of Swords. Look, uh, energy from earlier on might indicate your child, okay? Some sort of disappointment about your child. You kind of felt lost parents somewhere last week. Could mean something like that. It's temporarily, okay? Three Swords, it's not something which will last, of course. Now, look, this Page of Cups could be your expectations for your future. Perhaps some sort of disappointment with that, okay? You perhaps you were dreaming about your future life, about happy life, about something, I don't know, impossible perhaps. And then disappointment because you realize, that no, it's just a dream, it's just a foolish thing. Could mean something like that. Because this is slight disappointment, okay, Three of Swords. It's not a big deal. It's something which doesn't last long. Uh, could be that you did receive some sort of news, okay, because Page of Cups often brings news. And this news was actually hurtful um, somewhere last week or earlier on. This energy perhaps present for you this week as well. Though I see beautiful Monday, Major Arcana Day present with Temperance, with Magician. Temperance being your energy said you've got your goal, long-term goal. You were aiming high or far, doesn't matter, but you do have your goal. You know what would you like to achieve. Look, the Magician is very capable energy, being very confident with the realization, I can achieve my goal. You set the goal very far. Some big achievement you want for yourself or something which you're supposed to achieve with time could also mean something like that. But definitely you do have your aim, okay? You do have your goal and you do feel capable. Now, nothing can stop you. It's just a matter of time when you're going to have it, when you're going to achieve it. You see what I'm saying? A matter of time. But certainty that you will, trusting your abilities, trusting your talents, your creativity. You see what I'm saying? Everything is certainly there with you. With time, you'll have it for sure. That kind of energy, very confident energy on Monday. Now, look, it's, it's some sort of hard work for Tuesday, okay? It's a lot to be done on this day for you, Serge. I don't know, maybe you um, have um, your exam nearing, okay, and you have to study. You cannot give up, okay? This strength energy says it doesn't matter what you like, what you feel like. Maybe you don't feel like study, but you have to. In that sense, this strength energy put an effort. You were, in fact, ready to put extra effort to, to subdue everything else. You don't feel, you don't think about anything else but that which is task at hand, okay? That exam, that job to be done, that money to be made. Eight of Pentacles is diligently doing something which is very useful, very practical energy as well. Make your money, do your job, pass this exam. In that sense, you are putting effort into it, nothing else that matters here on this day, but that task at hand. Very practical work, serious job on this day for you, Sage. Now, King of Cups, maybe Cancer, Pisces, maybe Scorpio person, okay, out there, maybe offers 
something to you, uh, some sort of advice, some experience, some knowledge, some wisdom, some maybe emotions. This is emotional as well, but King of Cups isn't just that, okay? This is much more than emotions, okay? This is emotions controlled, okay? Perfectly controlled for the purpose of something. You see what I'm saying? Look, you were um, on your crossroad, obviously, with the Two of Swords. This is kind of stalemate situation and you don't know which way to go. Very secretive, very fearful energy, keeping things close to your chest because you simply don't know what's good for you, what's bad, which way is better for you, which is not. You see what I'm saying? Nothing that you can see clearly with this energy because you blindfolded, okay? And that's why we have have fear, uh, very protective energy. You feel like you need to protect your heart. You need to protect yourself. Perhaps, perhaps somebody is a uh this King of Cups, maybe somebody older, um, somebody very emotionally stable, very controlling as well, okay, is around you offering maybe love, maybe friendship, maybe advice, whatever. This one is offering something to you and you are scared of this one, okay? You don't trust this person. Even if this person is coming with beautiful words, you will see, you will feel that something is manipulated there perhaps maybe it's not but you are fearing okay you are fearing you don't know you cannot see through this person okay this is like diplomat this is like politician and that what scares you you cannot truly see what is the real intention of this person and I really believe that's your dilemma that's your fear there um, on Wednesday you kind of you you feel that you can't trust this person should you trust should you not does this person really love me or not you see, in that sense, your Wednesday. But Queen of Swords is clarity, okay? Could be a uh, being that is out of energy, maybe somebody else out there like Gemini, Libra, or may maybe Aquarius, maybe your boss, uh, maybe your mother, sister, somebody dear to you, perhaps gives you good advice. Because this is very factual energy. Whatever this person says to you, it's really truth. It's really well thought, idea, advice, or something. This energy gives you clarity, shows you the way. This is how you're going to do it. This is how you're going to make your money. This is how you're going to secure yourself. This is how you're going to make your business. This is how you're going to stabilize yourself. This is how you're going to ground yourself. That's your way. Somebody is showing you way, okay? Could be that you are just taking this energy for yourself, showing yourself like decisive, like factual, like knowledgeable. You see what I'm saying? Could be that it's just you or just energy of clarity out there. It, it doesn't matter. But we are referring to your business, money making, to your stability, to values which you are after. Okay, now you are very clear about it. Very grounded, very clear energy. You know your way. How are you going to make your money? How are you going to stabilize this business? How are you going to secure your life? In that sense, your Thursday, very much clarity about it. No Queen of Cups. Again, we can talk Pisces, maybe Scorpio or a Cancer person, okay? This Vuta sign, perhaps very present here, but now completely different. This is lovely energy. Queen of Cups is emotional, rather passive energy, very loving, understanding, very motherly energy. This one is standing by you if this is person out there, okay, stands by you, supports you, loves you, you know, like your mother, or it is your mother, just out there to tell you, okay, Sage, I'm supporting you, you've got your ideas, you've got your choice, you've got your options, whatever that you decide, I'll stand by you, I'll support you, it's your choice, you make up your mind, I'll be with you. You see, just like that, somebody is supportive there, now, you do have Seven of Cups within you. Those are your, I don't know, options, possibilities for you. Still just on your mind. You are exploring your options, okay, on this day. So, could mean that you are just satisfied with yourself because now you do have options, okay, and they're lovely and they're great and you can choose from different, I don't know, possibilities and options and opportunities. You see what I'm saying? Perhaps just that, what you wanted for yourself, to have options in your life 
could also mean something like that here on this day, being satisfied with yourself because you do have now options in your life. You see what I'm saying? Just just like that, this Friday could also be something. Um, now, look, um, Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, um, two eights, three eights, a eh? I believe um, four eights. Um, very expansive energy. Eight is lovely. I love it. Okay, number eight expands. Okay, this or that way. With your hard work, but you will expand. You'll make money. Okay, you'll make money. You'll make your business. You'll expand your life. You'll expand your qualities, your abilities, your work. Expansion is that you are going for something better. Okay, you will change your work, change job. Okay, because you will take another job which pays far better than previous one okay you'll pass your exams and move forward further okay now you will be looking for work or something you see what i'm saying whatever that you did practically did opens up new life new possibilities for you this is practical work this is your skill this is your knowledge this is money which you earn anyhow opens up possibilities for different life, okay? You are moving forward towards something different, leaving behind that what you used to do. This was your studies, okay? Now you pass your exams, you were going further now, looking for work, okay? You are expanding or you earn your money in such a way. Now you will change. You'll go for something which will earn more money. You see what I'm saying? Very practical energy expands you further for more money, for more success, for more of the same, just bigger amount. In that sense, your Saturday. No, a king of wands could be Aries person, maybe Leo, maybe maybe like you, Sagittarius, okay? This is also very Sagittarian energy, fiery energy, feeling competent and, and confident with something which you are creating. Um, maybe on Sunday you do have somebody, okay? This is outer energy, perhaps, as I said, maybe lots of people this week for you, and on Sunday perhaps somebody very friendly, somebody who does things for you, okay? Because this is partnership. This is somebody you can trust, okay? This person on Sunday, you are trusting. You and another one equal, okay? With this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius person, this, this best, this is your bestest friend. Even if it's your boss, comes very friendly with you, respects you a lot. This is your friend. This is friendly energy, whatever that one does. Usually King of Wands does the job, could be very practical. You are equal with this person or this person is giving you ideas about your future, about how you're gonna create something in your life. Could also mean something like that, okay? Very creative, very intelligent energy as well. But anyhow, you or another one doesn't matter. This is a very productive energy and you are very satisfied with yourself, okay? You like this partnership or you like yourself because you've got this great idea, something you will create, you feel capable. Oh, you know, you will create it. And that's why you are so happy with yourself. You are loving yourself, you're trusting yourself because you are showing abilities. You can make it yourself. You don't need anybody else you by yourself could also mean something like that you were your bestest friend or it's really your bestest friend there to help you any anyhow you are very satisfied here this is very balanced very harmonious energy here on sunday enjoy it sage